Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Calibrate touchscreen option is missing from your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video. I want you to copy it and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste it in. Should serve msdt.exe space minus sign ID, then another space device diagnostic. And then once you have this little pop up here, select the advanced option and make sure apply repairs automatically is checkmarked. And then select next. And then I recommend following along with any suggestions it makes here. Okay, so then hopefully at this point the issue has been resolved. However, if you are still having an issue, something else we can try here as well. Close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the human interface devices entry in here. And then right click on an item if you see one. This is HID compliant touchscreen. And you would select disable device and select yes. And then once you've disabled it, I recommend then coming back in here and then right-clicking on it and then enabling the device. Please keep in mind you can see that a disabled device has a little icon next to the icon of the device. You should see a little down arrow. So if you see any devices that are currently disabled in here, you may want to consider just right-clicking and then enabling them. Again, underneath the human interface devices. And then I would suggest restarting your computer. Hopefully at this point, the options to calibrate your touchscreen should be available for your customization. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.